In this video, I'm going to tell you about high diastolic blood pressure. Many people look at the top number of their blood pressure reading and ignore the bottom number. Both numbers are important, and if high diastolic blood pressure is ignored, it can lead to dire consequences. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. When looking at your blood pressure readings, if the top number is low but your bottom number is high, there's a good chance eventually both numbers are going to be high. I'm going to explain high diastolic blood pressure to you, what causes it, the dire consequences, and how to lower it. First, let me explain what diastolic blood pressure actually is. It's the second number or lower number of your blood pressure reading. When your blood is pumped, it puts pressure on the artery walls. The pressure on the artery walls while your heart is resting between beats is your diastolic blood pressure. So how do you know when your diastolic blood pressure is considered high? If your diastolic number is 80 to 89, it means your blood pressure is in a high blood pressure stage 1 range. In stage 1, doctors are likely to suggest lifestyle changes and may recommend medication based on your risk factors. If your diastolic number is 90 or higher, then it's in the high blood pressure stage 2 category. In stage 2, doctors are likely to suggest a combination of lifestyle changes and medication. If your diastolic number is higher than 120, then it is in the hypertensive crisis range. Next, what can cause is high diastolic blood pressure. The following are causes related to who you are, things you can't change, like age. The older you get, the more likely you are to get high blood pressure. Family history. If your immediate family has a history of high blood pressure, the more likely you will too. Your gender. Up to age 64, men are more likely to develop high blood pressure. For women, they are more likely at age 65 and older. Then they your race. Some racial backgrounds are more likely to get high blood pressure than others. The following are causes you can change, like stress, lack of physical activity, obesity, high cholesterol, unhealthy diet, excess alcohol, smoking, and sleep problems. So what can happen if your high diastolic blood pressure isn't lowered? If you have a high diastolic blood pressure and a normal systolic number, it means down the road your risk of developing high systolic blood pressure increases. Also, studies have shown people aged 40 to 89 years of age, for every 10 millimeter of mercury increase in diastolic blood pressure, the risk of death from stroke and ischemic heart disease doubles. Other consequences are heart attack and cardiovascular disease. So how can you lower diastolic blood pressure naturally without medicine? A good place to start is with your nutrition. Eat skinless chicken and fish, fruits and vegetables, nuts like almonds and pecans, and whole grains like oatmeal and brown rice. Eat foods high in magnesium like spinach, Swiss chard, and pumpkin seeds. Try to get regular physical activity every day. Aim for 20 to 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be strenuous exercise. Take walks around your neighborhood, in the park, or mall. Also, practice relaxation techniques like warm baths, listening to soothing music, meditation, yoga, pressure points, and breathing exercises. If you would like to receive a free ebook titled Top Tips Health Guide, type the following into your address bar. Bloodpressureexplained.com slash ebook or click the link down below bloodpressureexplained.com slash ebook click the thumbs up and comment below but more important stay healthy and i wish you and your loved ones the very best